there was this sort of Tudor soap opera thing called Wolf Hall set in Super Yesterday times, like properly ages ago. It was sort of like Game of Thrones without the dragons or the gory bits or the nudity or the sort of majestic sweeping shots of awe-inspiring landscapes, which meant it was all British people in weird hats just sort of talking. Emperor is the Queen's nephew. If he has the Pope, then the King's divorce petition is... Yeah. It had all these famous history people in, all mixed in together, like how the Avengers has the Hulk and Iron Man. This had Henry VIII and Anne Bowling and David Essex and Dick Turpin and Jimmy Savile in it. There were so many people, other characters had to stop and ask who they all were. Who is that? Stephen Gardner, my secretary. And who is that? The main bloke spent most of his time looking sad because he had to wear this stupid uniform for work. And his dad was a horse mechanic who was horrible to him. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. I found it boring, but I wasn't sure if it was boring because it was boring or boring because it was good. Like how the theatre's good, but totally boring. People said it was slow, but to be fair, it was set before cars, so the main bloke had to go everywhere on foot. So each time he had to be in a different place, he had to walk all the way there from wherever he'd been. And he had to do it loads, like he was walking all the time. I mean, it must have been knackering. That's why he had to keep taking rests in between walks, where he'd just sort of stand around looking glum. And his wife died, which was sad. And then his kids died, which was even sadder. Although, if you think about it, they only lived in olden times, so it wasn't like they'd missed out on much. Like, they didn't even have chips back then, or Wi-Fi, or Mark Ronson, or Broadchurch, or like, I don't know, Hungry Hippos, or Buckaroo, or even Don't Tip the Waiter. I mean, there was nothing to do back then. They were so desperate for stuff to do that for entertainment, they had to watch people sweep stuff up, or poke cobwebs, or read books. It was total shithouse. So being alive must have been almost the same as being dead anyway. <laughs>